The wait is officially over and magic is coming, or should I say magic has arrived to Canva. In this video, we are going to discover and review all of these amazing features that Canva just announced. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into the Canva Magic Studio. Let's go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. I am overexcited today because, you know, once or twice in a year, Canva make a big announcement and a bunch of new features are released. And today is that day. We are going to jump into what Canva calls the Canva Magic Studio. I have 10 to 14 new features to introduce to you. So without further ado, we are going to jump straight in. Just one important note before we start at the time of filming this video, this big announcement hasn't yet happened. When you will watch the video, it will have happened. It just means that me today in my Canva homepage, for example, it still says magic is coming. I believe this menu item will be renamed Magic Studio once the features have actually shipped to everyone, but that's why you are seeing this and you're still seeing the countdown for the announcement here on top. All right, that being said, let's jump into the presentation I prepared for you because as a Canva expert, we've had early access to each of these features so we can be ready for the day they launch to present them to you. So let's get this party started. As always, when I create a new What's Hot with Canva episode, I like to divide the features into categories, all right? So the first category is the prompt to design category, AKA all of the magic design features. Canva announced three different magic design features, namely magic design, magic design for videos, and magic design for presentations. So I suggest we go to the Canva homepage and I explain what these magic design design features are. Let's start with the first one that is simply called Magic Design. Okay, Magic Design is a pro feature, but free users will have a limited, very limited free trial. I'm gonna get to the details of that in a second. And it will be available on desktop and mobile. So that is for where you will find this feature. And in a nutshell, what Magic Design is, is the ability to start a design by describing the type of design you need. So you describe what you would like Canva to create. Maybe you add some of your media, you add your brand colors. And Canva will put together all of these ingredients into a template and suggest you a bunch of different templates to simply start your project. So let's head over to the Canva homepage and see how this works from here. Using Magic Design is very straightforward. You just use the search box that is right here on the Canva's homepage, okay? So previously, we would use this box to search for a document type, or maybe type a keyword like Facebook or Instagram. But now we can prompt more detailed description of what we want. So I have an example right here. I want an Instagram story to promote a new pair of sneakers. Okay, so I put my prompt right here. And I'm going to hit enter and see what Canva can come up with. So I see that right here at the bottom, I have all of my traditional templates. Okay, so these are not the magic design templates. These are just templates that exist right now in the Canva template library. But this section right here is what Canva generated for me. Okay, so it is more customized. I can see the text introducing our latest sneaker drop with a photo. It seems like these templates have been custom made to match my query, to match my prompt, all right? So Canva's AI has worked here to generate these different templates. So if I choose one of these custom templates, for example, this one right here, I can see that it has been generated by Magic Design, meaning it has been crafted for me. Okay, so Canva's AI has been putting together these elements. For example, the text that has been generated here, it says step up your sneaker game, introducing the newest addition to our collection. So the text has been very much adapted to my query. So from here, I can start customizing this template, just like for any other template in Canva. But if I leave this and play around with the other filters and options that I have here, I can further customize this prompt and this template I'm trying to generate. For example, I can select a template from all of these different categories, okay? I'm gonna leave it on random. Next is media. So I could, if I want, choose to upload a photo. So I am going to upload a photo of the specific pair of sneakers that 
I want to promote that I have here. So it's going to be uploaded to my media. You see, there you go. So I uploaded this pair of Air Max ones and now Canva is generated some more custom templates for me. In brand, I can also decide to use one of my brand kits right here if I have one created or I can decide to also omit this and just work with the colors that are taken from the photo, for example, which is the case right here. So I kind of like this one right here. So I'm going to finally click on it to see a larger overview. And then because I'm happy with this, I'm going to go ahead and customize this design in the editor. So there you go. This is what the template looks like out of the box. So from here, obviously, I need to do a little bit of tweaking. But what I love about Magic Design is that it generates text that makes sense. So it gives me a solid base for my content creation. I don't start from a blank page and I don't start from a random template with some random text. I start with a template that already carries the essence of my message, which in my opinion is really good. So get your feet ready for the summer with our new sneakers, comfortable, stylish, and perfect for any occasion, okay? So a couple of things here, obviously I need to fix that photo because I cannot see the entire shoe on this photo. So what I can do is to resize the photo very quickly and stretch that box. So I do have the entire shoe showing. Okay, if I double click, I can reframe the shoe a little bit more comfortably. And there you go. Now I have the shoe and I can stretch that photo to really match the size of my page. All right, so this is looking clean. I like that. What I could probably do is change the background of this template to completely white or remove the background of the shoe. So I have the same background. I have a slightly different color here. So just going to change the background for white and now everything is perfect right here. Okay, so I'm going to stop here for the magic design feature. Just know that from the homepage, you can prompt pretty much anything. So I think it's always a great idea to let Canva know for which platform you are designing. That would be the where. Let them know what you are designing. So for me, it was an Instagram story and why. So why are you designing? In my case, it was to promote a new pair of sneakers. So where, what, why. And I think you should be good to go with these three questions. So to create that description. As I told you, Magic Design is a pro feature, but free users will be able to try this feature for free, but for only 10 trials lifetime. Okay, so 10 prompts. And this is not only good for this Magic Design feature, but for all of the Magic Design features I'm going to talk about today. On the other hand, Canva pro users will be able to use these magic design features up to a hundred times per day. Okay, so that limit of a hundred design generated. And so that covers all types of magic design. So magic design, magic design for video or for presentation, pro users will be able to generate up to a hundred of these designs per day, which is quite a lot. All right, so now that you know what magic design is, let's have a look at the second new feature, magic design for videos. Guys, if you liked Magic Design, you are going to love Magic Design for videos. But first thing first, in order to access Magic Design for videos, you will need to be either on a video document type, so by clicking on the little video icon right here, or on a social media document type. So it will work with either video or social media. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna use a video. I'm gonna choose mobile video right here. So I'm basically creating a new video document. And from here, inside the editor, you should see generate videos instantly new feature, okay? Upload media and type a short description to generate videos with music already synced. So that is magic design for video. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to click on that new feature right here and it says select at least three files and add to your video. And I see here that I can select up to 10 different files. So what I have done, I have transferred some of the photos and videos I had on my phone to my Canva account so that I can 
create a short video about Diana and I's trip to Bulgaria that we just did for my 43rd birthday. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what these clips are. I have a video here, I have another video here, so two videos, and I have a bunch of photos. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to select all of this material from Bulgaria that comes straight from my iPhone. Okay, I have 10 items selected. Okay, and this includes two video files. Now, describe the kind of video you want. We will use this to generate a design. You can try an example if you're not inspired, but me, I kind of know what I want. I want a video to remember my trip to Bulgaria with Diana to celebrate my birthday. So I'm going to paste that prompt right here. And the prompt goes like this. A video to remember our trip to Bulgaria for my 43rd birthday. So I gave Canva some precise information here like a trip to Bulgaria and my 43rd birthday. Let's see if Canva will use that in the video. Okay, so once you have prompted, selected your media, click on generate the video and it will take a couple of seconds for Canva to generate your video project. So this is probably going to blow your mind because it did blow mine the first time I used it for how accurate it was. All right, so little message here. Canva is saying that this technology is still in its early stage and therefore this might be changing and improving with time. Okay, so that's the general public announcement. But there you go. So I have 11 different pages here. I have some music going on. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see. It says happy 43rd birthday to me. Let's have a look at this video. I'm going to put this full screen and just play it. Celebrating in Bulgaria. Exploring the city. Yeah. Seeing some old architecture, some old cars, eating some delicious ice cream, mm -hmm. local arts, yep, beautiful church. So Canva recognizes what's in the photos, it adds some captions and emojis, a lot of photos, <laughs> shopping for some souvenirs, yeah, I didn't bring any pickles, but yeah, so once your video is finished, you can download it, or you can play it again. So this was pretty good, guys. To be honest, I'm really happy how Canva synced the video with the audio track using BeatSync. Maybe I would change a couple of the captions. So exploring the city, yes. Maybe this one right here, seeing some old, like spotting some old cars. Spotting some vintage cars. And then I could have emoji of a car. Okay, vintage car. There you go. Spotting some vintage cars. And I can, of course, move any of the elements around. So don't take what Canva creates for granted. You can completely customize everything in your document. It's just a normal Canva project. So if, for example, your caption is a little bit too much over some of the things you're trying to show, you can simply move it. For example, this one, I would like to have a different color than black. I could use yellow or I could use the pink. Yeah, pink is great. And you can use the styles to actually change the colors of everything in your design. For example, here I'm using the neutral color palette. It will change to something much more neutral and you can apply to all pages as well. Okay, so if you decide to do that, then you will have your brand kit colors applied to the entire video project. All right, I'm not going to customize this project further. I just wanted to show you that with a simple prompt, remember a video to remember my trip to Bulgaria for my 43rd birthday. That was my prompt. Canva created an 11 page video project with sound, with transition, with captions of what it sees in the photos. That is pretty dope in my opinion. And this is going to save so much time for people creating some engagement content, people creating some vlogging content like this one. Yeah, I really like that. Obviously you need to tweak a few things around, but it just makes things so much easier. So this is magic design for videos. Again, it is a pro feature. Free users will have 10 shots at trying this together with the other magic design features. But yeah, I highly recommend if you're a pro user to start using this, this is going to save you a bunch of time.
All right, let's discover the last one of the Magic Design features. And this one is called Magic Design for Presentation. So we'll need to be in a presentation document type in order for this to work. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's open a blank presentation document right here. I'm gonna resize this a bit smaller. And the way you start, you see there's no feature here that is like popping up in your object panel. You simply use the search box to type in your prompt. Okay, so I have a prompt that I prepared earlier and my prompt says a marketing plan for a new hummus restaurant. Okay, so let's try that. And immediately you will see some deck templates right here that Magic Design created for me. I can click on see all and I will see eight different presentations here for my hummus marketing plan, which is good. Maybe I can brand that for having some more neutral colors and I can regenerate the results. So from here, you can do two things. You can choose your brand kit colors. Okay, again, and font, not just the colors, but also the fonts. So here I'm using this neutral color palette with these fonts, but also you can add media. Okay, if I wanted, I could add specific photos, which I'm not gonna do right now. Just want to show you the decks. So I have different decks right here and they look quite similar, but they are different. They're all seven pages. So what I'm going to do is to simply open one up to start reading and see what they are. So I click here and I will apply all seven pages of this custom custom crafted template to my design area right here. So there you go. It starts with the title and a delicious plate of hummus right here. Then I have my first page right here. Get ready to dip into a world of flavor with our hummus restaurant marketing plan. So I like that the copy is not only appropriate, but it's also quite witty. It's also quite smart, like get ready to dip into a world of flavor because you dip into your hummus with your pita bread or whatever. So this is quite clever copy. And not only the copy is clever and makes sense, like for example here, target market. Our target market is health conscious individuals age 18 to 45 who seek delicious and nutritious food options. That is pretty relevant. But the photos are also super relevant. So Canva really understands my description, my prompt and serves me with a set of seven slides that make up kind of my marketing plan. I have target market, I have the menu, I have unique selling proposition, marketing strategy, which is quite short, but at least I have that page and social media campaign. So yeah, I believe this is super useful. It will allow me to work much faster. Obviously I need to get in there, put my own information, maybe swap a few photos, but not even like necessary, like the photos, I could go with these photos, maybe this one, not great, but the rest of them are of very high quality. They are very on point. So I could just simply go with that. All right. So again, magic design for presentations, same principle, you start with a prompt, you get a design. This is also a pro feature available on mobile and desktop. And it is also part of the 10 free trial for free users. All right. So these were the three magic design features, magic design, magic design for videos and magic design for presentations. And before we move on to the next category of features, I just want to let you know that Diana is working on a series of three videos that will explore each of these magic features. So keep an eye out on the channel for these videos. And now let's move on to the next category of features, which is to transform your content. There is only one feature in this category of transforming your content and that feature is called Magic Switch. Magic Switch is pretty much an upgrade to Magic Resize. So remember how we used to have the resize button right here? Well, now this button has been replaced by a button that says Magic Switch and you have the little new tag next to that button. So you realize something is new there. So let's go ahead and click on Magic Switch and explore what this upgrade of resize is all about. So it says Magic Resize got an upgrade. You can now convert your design and transform your content with AI. In this menu, you will find your usual resize functionalities. So that is the ability to 
pretty much resize your existing document into another document type. So these will be those right here. So you can decide to transform it into something of a custom size, social media. What's changing is that Canva has grouped the document types into their main categories. So I would say social media, if you click here, you'll have all of your social media. Okay, and they have added these nice ties right here that represents with the logo of each social platform. You can also search. So if I want to resize into, I don't know, something related to YouTube, I type YouTube and I have all of the YouTube related document types. Okay, so that is not the novelty. The novelty is that they added two things right here to this menu. The first one is translate. You can now translate your document into another language directly from the magic switch button. So if I want to try this, I can click click on that little arrow and you choose the language you want to translate into and also the page you want to translate. So if I want to translate into, I don't know, let's use a language that I speak so I can judge by the quality. Let's choose French. Okay, I want to translate to French and pages. I will just use page number one. Okay, so I untick all pages, tick page one and done. Okay, so you can translate existing design without creating a copy if you tick this box, which means this page will be swapped into French. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to do that because I don't want to create yet another design here. Okay, I'm going to translate that into French. All right, so here's a translation. Hummus à gogo, une nouvelle expérience de hummus. Okay, not bad. Hummus à gogo is like an idiom, an expression that says like hummus galore. That's pretty much what it is. And I believe that's what it was. Yes, hummus galore. All right, so I'm just using my back and forth arrows right here, like undo and redo. So I can judge by the quality of this translation. So what we can see is that this translate functionality is very cool. I can translate directly from here. I don't need to go back to the apps, find the translate, and then decide which page to translate. And then the second major update to this resize button, now called Magic Switch, is that you can transform your current document into a Canva doc. Okay, so it says transform into doc, turn your design into a summary, a blog post or song lyrics. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to click on this. Okay, so the little box will be ticked. Click on continue and then I get to this menu. I need to select a text format for my Canva doc. Okay, so I see a presentation turned into a doc. So this was a marketing plan for my hummus restaurant. So let's say I want to turn that into an email so I can send that to my team. So I will hit the transform into duck and then it says larger designs may take a little bit longer. Then we have a Chinese proverb, be not afraid of going slowly, be afraid of standing still. All right, so my duck is ready. Magic design for presentation test. Okay, I can open the duck from here. There you go. I have an email draft with a subject line. Okay, subject, a new hummus experience, marketing announcement. Hey there, we're exciting to bring you a new dining experience, a restaurant dedicated entirely to hummus. We've crafted a menu that's perfect for health conscious individuals between... Da, 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 da. Okay, so I have here, based on the content of my marketing presentation, Canva's AI or Magic Write transform that content into an email that makes sense. This email makes sense. Yeah, pretty bluffed. I'm pretty impressed by this functionality. This is pretty good. So I have to admit that worked very well. Like this email probably needs some tweaks. Like I probably need to attach the presentation to it. I probably need to change a few things, maybe give the next steps to my team. But this is a very well written email. So I wonder what would have happened if I had used the other formats like a, a song lyrics or a poem, which I'm not going to try right now. I will let you explore this functionality by yourself. It's called Magic Switch. So two major differences between Magic Switch and Magic Resize. One, the ability to translate any pages or all your pages straight from this Magic Switch menu. And two, the ability to turn your current document into a Canva doc, which lets you choose between different types of formats. Also, I love that Canva gives you the option to change in the current document you're using on or to create a copy. All right, so Magic Switch, try it on if you are a pro user. This is only available to pro users on desktop and mobile. All right, guys, we are making some good progress in this video. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, give us a like. This will help us get more visibility, reach more people here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. This is your go 
go-to place to learn anything about Canva, about ChatGPT, and how to use these latest AI tools as a content creator to grow your business. We have already covered two categories of magic features and we have a lot more to cover. So don't you go anywhere. Maybe just go get another coffee, another tea, another chai masala, whatever you fancy, and come back quickly to watch the second part of this video because we have still a lot to cover. So I'm not gonna lose your time. Let's immediately move on to the next category of features. This one is about all of the new AI media generation. So everything that you can generate, the content that you can generate with AI in Canva. And in order to demonstrate these new features to you, I'm just going to continue working on my hummus marketing plan right here. It doesn't really matter what I'm working on. I just want to show you the features. So the major update here is that Canva decided to bundle all of the AI generation tools, previously called text to image, into one module. And if you click on the apps tab right here in the object panel and scroll down a bit to the popular apps, you should see a new app called Magic Media. So I'm going to click on that. It's called Magic Media. Okay. If I click here, I can explore app details, instantly generate AI images and videos with AI. So create compelling images and videos from simple descriptions and even turn generated images into videos for ages 13 and above unless supervised video powered by a runway. All right. So this is some serious upgrade right here. Let's come back to the app after after reading this app description, I'm very enthusiastic about what's in here. So the first thing is you have two different tabs now. You have image generation, which we already had before. It was called text to image. And then we have video generation. At the time of filming this, we are now Sunday, October 1st, to be completely transparent here when I'm filming this video is not yet available. This video should be published on the channel around October 5th, which is kind of like the first day we can actually talk about these features publicly. By the time of the video hitting the channel, this feature might be available, but I am not able to demonstrate it as of today. But what is for sure is that we will create tutorials later, but I didn't want to delay the publication of this video because it announces more than just this one feature. But the good news is that text to video is coming to Canva and it's going to be powered by Runway, which is probably the best AI tool for turning text into video as of today. All right, so let's have a look at text to image since that's the only one we can try today. It looks pretty similar to what it used to be a couple of days or weeks ago. So you have your prompt box right here, which you should use to include object colors, location, surroundings, people, and you can try examples. So if I'm not inspired, I could just like hit the example button. Bohemian rustic event venue at dusk with hanging lights. Now, dim lit room with people eating at table, 18th century. Now, lab with computers and servers, isometric style, a lighthouse on a remote island, etc, etc. So I don't find what I need here, but I would like a modern restaurants with Scandinavian furniture. That would look great for my hummus restaurant. Okay, so a modern restaurant with Scandinavian furniture and lots of plants. Okay, so this is my prompt. I can choose one of the styles and I can choose an aspect ratio for my image. So styles, I believe some new styles have been generated. So I have photos, vibrant, minimalist, neon, filmic into the digital art category. I think I might have some new stuff like gradient. I don't remember this one. And fine art, stained glass. I think this was not there before, but I'm just going to stick to photo for this one and I'm going to be going with let's say square I'm going to create the image so this is nothing new I believe just a few styles have been added but yeah I just wanted to prompt text to image once to see if the quality of the output have been upgraded because it's been so 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 far I mean it's not mid journey but it's been relatively good but I wanted to see if maybe with all of these magic upgrades text to image also has been upgraded so 
So these are my different restaurants with Scandinavian furniture. This is not bad. Let's open them all here. Okay, so I can see the same styles, but pretty much different restaurant styles. Let's see if I have like, let's open a third one here. All of these are pretty cool. Some of the legs are a little bit broken and weird. It's kind of like the finger story in the early. So it's still not perfect, but it does the job. I could probably use one of these. Let's keep this one right here. I'm gonna make that bigger. I could probably use that for my presentation document about my restaurant, right? My hummus restaurant. So social media, marketing strategy. Uh, yeah, could have a page about the place or the investment that is needed. So this image would fit nicely into that marketing plan. All right, I really wish I could try text to video right now, but yeah, it's not there. I do promise we will try it out on the channel as soon as it's available for us to do so. All right, so this is Magic Media text to image. The novelty is that Canva has now bundled images and video under the same tool called Magic Media. In terms of usage, limit free users will have access to this tool but only for 50 trials and this is a lifetime okay so you can use the tool only 50 times all together i believe they mean by using the tool both image and video when it's available and pro users will have up to 500 uses credits per month and you will see a date where your credits will refresh okay so here it refreshes on the 1st of November so that means exactly one month from today so 500 uses per month for pro users and only 50 uses per life for free users The next set of magic features falls under the category of editing your content effortlessly. Okay, so all of the features I'm going to talk about right now are either related to editing your photos or editing videos. All right, so let's start with the first one, which is called Magic Morph. So Magic Morph, Canva explains that you can turn ordinary into extraordinary. All right, so first thing first, where do you find Magic Morph? Well, you will find it under your apps again. So you scroll down, you can start typing magic morph. Okay, magic morph. So the app looks like so magic morph. And once you click on it, this is what you'd get. Select an element in your design. Okay, so you can please select an element. I don't have any elements here on my page. So I do need to start with an element or you can add one of these. Okay, so Canva will give you three examples. So let's head over the elements. I could try with a hat like this blue hat could try to do something interesting with this. So I will select it go back to Magic Morph. You see the element is selected and I can try prompting. Let's say I want to turn this simple illustration of a blue hat into something more fancy. Okay, so I would like a furry orange hat, furry orange hat. Okay, Magic Morph should transform this element into something more elaborated, this ordinary element into an extraordinary element. That is the promise. I hope Canva will hold to that promise. And yeah, we'll see that in a couple of seconds. Wow, I have four hats here. This one being the one that catches my attention the most. Yep, this is not too bad. This is not furry as I expected. Let's see this one, like the texture. Yeah. So so some imperfections. So maybe I try prompting again. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Well, at least it got the texture kind of right. I mean, not perfectly right. A furry pink hat with long hair. Okay, let's try longer hair and generate this again. But I like that this technology, this AI thing going on in the background is actually transforming a very basic element into something that looks realer at least. Okay, so I have my four pink purple. I would say that these are purplish hats with the hair. The, I don't really see the hair on any of these, but these look pretty cool. Okay, so this is where we are with this tech right here. 
here, I'm going to try prompting something different. So I come back here. I'm going to try using this with another element. Okay, so let's come back here. Let's use yeah a basic pair of sneakers. And I want to turn that into some really cool sneakers. Okay, let's try that. I'm a big sneaker fan. Let's see if I can turn this like basic illustration into something that actually looks like. Describe the look. A brand new pair of Air Max one in blue color. Let's see if it understands what these are. Magic Morph. If it does, I would be pretty amazed, guys. And this would kind of blow my mind, but I doubt that it will really understand what Air Max 1s are because is a type of sneakers from Nike is not exactly like a generic term. It something's there. So this kind of looks like a pair of Air Max ones, but it's a bit low here. But we are getting there. I'm very optimistic about this technology because it already has the basics. See, it's not yet like great, but we are, I would say we are 60% there. And I, at the speed at which the technology is evolving and getting better and better every day, I'm very optimistic about this. So this is Magic Morph. It transforms any basic elements into something much better. And it also works with text. So let me show you an example with some text here. I'm gonna go back. For this, I need text, obviously. So I'm gonna click on my text box right here. I'm just going to take a preset text here. I'm gonna ungroup this only keep one word and I'm going to change that for my name. All right, keep it selected, go back to Magic Morph and you see that the element that is selected is my text box here with my name. So I know that a lot of you guys want to add some texture to your letters, to your fonts in Canva. Well, with this tool, you can now do that. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna go with a golden texture. Just gonna type golden texture here, Magic Morph and I believe Canva is going to turn that pink word into a shiny golden word. And I can see that Canva turned it into a golden shiny word. So Ronnie right here, let me put it about the same size as the other one so we can see what's going on here. This is pretty good. I like that texture. It's kind of smooth. Maybe the edges are not perfect like here on this design, but I mean, this is also work in progress, guys. So bear with them until this technology gets better. It says here, this tech is new and improving. So yeah, I think this is really promising. Let me know in the comments, like what prompts are you using for text? Like, are you using this feature magic more for text? And if so, what are your best prompts to get the best results to transform your text to add some texture? I would be very curious to read that. And also sharing is caring. So if you have something good, share it with the rest of our community here in the comments. All right, this was Magic Morph only available to pro users, sorry free users. I think that after watching this video, a lot of you guys will want to try Canva Pro because most of these new upgrades are pro only. So yeah, we will have a link in the description for you to try Canva Pro for 45 days for free. That is our affiliate link. It gives you 15 extra days than when you go and upgrade via the Canva website. So yeah, check out the link in the description if you are going to give pro a try gives us a little bit of a kickback as well to support the channel so we would appreciate if you are going pro use our link thank you for your support all right let's move on to the next magic feature the next feature is called magic grab and this one will work with your photos. So you will need a photo to start with. So I went back to my photos from Bulgaria right here and I took this photo because I love this old looking car, okay? And I also liked the shop right here, the Bulgarian flag right here. I just like this composition. So in order to access that feature, we'll need to select the photo and then click on edit photo, okay? So from here under tools, you should see a couple of these new AI features. So Namely, we'll have Magic Expand, Magic Grab, and Grab Text. They're all pro features. And also, you still have your Magic Eraser, your Magic Edit. So these we've already covered on the channel, so I'm not going to come back to these. But yeah, let's focus on these three. Magic Expand, Magic Grab, and Grab Text. Starting right now with Magic Grab, okay? If I click here, the photo is going to be processed. And then what Magic Grabs allows me to do is to detach the main subject 
of my photo, in this case, it's the car, from its background. So you see how the car is now selected. I can take it and move it. You see, I'm removing the car from the photo, but I keep the background. It's kind of like background remover, but it allows you to keep the background. With background remover, you just get rid of the rest of the photo and only keep the subject. But here, it's not the case. I keep both of them, but I can move them separately. So if I want the car to be parked the other way around, I could just flip it and it's not going to flip my entire photo, but just the car, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So I could do it like so. It was actually better in the other orientation, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with Magic Grab. Okay, so let's move this photo to the side. Let's try another one and let's use this photo of Diana. Actually, I'm going to delete this one so I have more space here. So this is Diana in front of the famous Alexander Nevsky Cathedral in Sofia. Same, I'm going to select the photo, go to edit photo, magic grab, and then Canva will allow me to move Diana independently from the background. So if I want to make her smaller, I could do something like that. And now Diana is much smaller here could make her bigger, but also it allows me to be more creative. So I could create a text box and write something like Bulgaria, like so. I'm going to make this a different font. Let's find something like display, something big like so and bold. I'm going to apply an effect. All right. And make this whole thing white. Okay. So I have that now Bulgaria. I can make that bigger here. I could even have like a proper effect like so and change the color. Well, let's say yellow for now. But what I want to show you is that I can take Diana's face right here and move that with the position button forward. And I would have something like that going on. Okay. So yeah, you can become very creative with your text, with the depth of your photos, because you now control the individual layers of that photo, thanks to Magic Grab. So I love that feature. I think this opens up the doors for your creativity. And I'm really looking forward to discover all of what you guys like the hacks and tips and tricks that you will discover. I'll be keeping an eye out on our Facebook community to see all of the designs created with Magic Grab. All right, so this was Magic Grab available for pro users only. Now let's move on to the next Magic feature. Next up is Grab Text. We've seen that feature as well in the Edit Photo button, but this one is quite different. It allows you to recognize text in any photo and edit that text or delete that text, which I believe will be its main use case for many people. So let me show you how it works with this photo right here. So this is a photo when we were on holiday somewhere, probably yeah, Gili Air, so Indonesia, and we were scuba diving. Okay. So let's say I want to delete the text that is on my wetsuit right here. It says Oceans 5, Gili Air, and here we have like Aqualung and then the logo. Sometimes you will have maybe a black t-shirt with a, a brand name or something. Let's say you want to delete that. Well, it is now possible thanks to this feature. So the first thing you need to do is to select your photo, edit photo, and then go to grab text. Okay, grab text. Canva is going to process that image, recognize any text information on it and make it editable. So it takes a couple of seconds, but once it's done, which should happen very soon, there you go. We kind of have like all of these different text boxes and I can change the font. I can write something else. So Ocean 5, I could replace that by Rondi Dive, Rondi Dive. I can make the text box bigger. I can change the font. So all of that stuff you can do. But what I find most powerful is that you can delete it. And look at this, like you now have have removed any branding from that image. So that is quite amazing. And I can see a lot of use cases for that, like getting rid of a brand on your t-shirt or getting rid of like sensitive information on a photo. And I'm sure you guys will come up with a lot of creative use cases for editing the text instead of getting rid of it. So again, the name of that feature is grab text. It is also a pro feature and you will find it under edit photo. The next magic feature relates 
related to editing photos is called Magic Expand. So again, you will find it by selecting a photo, going to your edit photo, and you see here Magic Expand. Also a pro feature. Yeah, Canva went pretty hard on the pro offering here. So basically what Magic Expand does, it allows you to expand the photo to a different format. I could expand it to the whole page. So the AI will generate what's outside of the framing of this photo. Or this feature could also be very useful if you want to repurpose your content for another type of device, another type of social media. So I can here, I could uh, resize this in nine by 16. So that's the vertical format of your phone. You could do one by one, which is the Instagram format. And you see Canva shows you kind of like the framing, like the boundaries of up until where it will reconstruct, it will expand this specific image. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to go full page because I'm quite curious to see what it will generate here. So I select whole page, magic expand, it should basically create what's not on this photo. So there you go, some interesting stuff going on here. I have something a bit weird here and there and here. Like it seems like there is some rocks here on the boat, some sort of a table here under on Diana's lap, but it gives me four different options here. So I can see this. Okay, this one looks a bit more natural. Let's see what else we have this, which is not great. And we have this one, which also is not great because it seems like I have some sort of a tattoo here, something weird going on here, and this guy also weird. So probably the best one is this one, but I mean, it's still a work in progress, obviously. And this photo was maybe not an easy one to work with. I'm gonna cancel that. It did a decent job at figuring out what was around it. So maybe I show you with another photo. Let's just take a random photo in the Canva library. So for that, I'm going to be going to my photos right here and I'm going to prompt close up of a grandma eating ice cream. Let's see if I can find that. Okay, no grandma eating ice cream, but I need a close up. Let's use this. Kind of curious to see and I want to this time edit this photo, magic expand it, I want to transform that into a nine by 16. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the entire thing. Okay, so there's a quite a bit of things to generate here. Let's see what Magic Expand can do with this photo. So there you go. I have my four different options right here. All right, so this is the first one, which is not great because it seems like the little boy has broken his arm here and he has it in the cast, so not great. Let's look at the second one. So this one is a little bit better, though the hand is a little bit funky. Then we have this one. It has a massive plate under the ice cream. Then we have this one also not great. So I believe that this tech is not yet 100% ready. Well, it is here, but it's just like for any other image generation tool, kind of like extrapolates whatever is not there yet. And the quality can vary quite dramatically. All right, so my thoughts on Magic Experience. Band. I think the tech has a lot of potential. It is not there yet as like the image generation tools in general are like they need a lot of training. They need some time to really get to that cohesive understanding of what the picture is all about and to really create it without the aberration, without the hallucination, like the seven fingers or kid eating an ice cream, which doesn't make sense. But again, like this is moving fast and so we should have something that is fully working within a couple of months at most. So let's bear with this tech. Again, this is only for pro users and I think it has some potential. Next feature, which is not entirely a new one. We already had this one for a couple of weeks slash month. I'm talking about Magic Edit. So I'm going to go over this one very quickly because you probably have already seen this one. But since it's part of the Magic Editing tools, I'm going to cover it because I know Canva is going to yeah, present it one category of features. So let's go over it very quickly. So with the photo selected, click on Edit Photo and then you 
you should see your magic edit right here. I'm gonna click on that. The way it works, you will need to brush over the area to edit. So the thing I want to try to do here is to change the color of this little girl's hair to something a bit more funky. All right, so I'm gonna quickly brush over this and you can release your click, make the brush size bigger if you want to go faster. You see, going faster here. It doesn't need to be super precise. Just don't forget any important part like this part right here. Otherwise she will have like two different color of hair, which is not ideal. Okay, a little bit of hair here. And it doesn't matter if like it's a little bit like sloppy this painting over. You see here it's quite sloppy. Let's see what it does. So once you're done brushing over the area of your photo you want to actually change, yeah, go over, continue, and then describe your edit. It will be created for you using AI. Okay, editing faces, hands, or legs isn't intended for magic edits. Okay, so I want some bright pink hair on the little girl. Okay, let's see that. Some bright pink hair on the little girl. Let's see if Magic Edit can generate this new haircut for her. So there you go. I have a couple of options here. I'm not sure why Canva gives me some blue hair. This is a bit scary. This one too. But this one is actually pretty nice. The only problem is these nasty fingers here. Like what is this Canva? Like not so happy about this. But it says again like editing faces, hands or legs isn't intended for Magic Edit. So yeah, I can see that. Thank you. But I mean you you get the point and I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna try again but this time just changing the color of her eyes okay so she has blue eyes and I'm going to try to change that for some brown eyes let's see if Canva does a better job at just editing the color of your eyes because the nasty fingers there they're a bit creepy all right so let's see <laughs> yeah that's uh yeah just that the way she looks uh, yeah it's a bit creepy still. So I think we should take what Canva says for granted and not try to mess with editing faces, legs or fingers for now. All right, but guys, this was just to show you how you can use this feature. Don't try to edit the color of your eyes unless you're ready for this, nor the color of your hair. But yeah, Magic Edit, it's a cool feature to play around with. And the good news is that this one is free. So it will be available to free users for you to experiment. So yeah, have fun with this feature. I have one last magic editing feature and this one will work with your social media, presentation and video document types in Canva and it's called Magic Animate. Let's go ahead and try it out. So here I am in a presentation but it's empty. So I'm going to switch back to my hummus presentation and I'm becoming hungrier and hungrier as I see it but at least I have eight pages here and I can try Magic Animate. So the way it works you will have to select a page so I could do it from the thumbnail view right here or you could click on your page or an element on your page. Doesn't really matter. Me, I'm gonna click on page one down here and go to your animate button, okay? So the magic animate feature, which is a pro feature, is right here. Instantly apply perfectly suited animations and transitions. So I'm gonna click on that button. Canvas AI is gonna do its job as always. And then it will recommend a particular style of animation for this presentation. So the one that is recommended is professional. And if I click here, I can see a preview. And then Canva also gives me some alternative styles. So I have different things here. I can just have a look and see what I prefer. Okay. I have some new stuff, some grunge, minimal, so different kinds of animation, but it's like Canva decides, okay, what's best here? They put it into a bundle and they deliver it to me. I'm gonna apply professional to this. So your design has been animated and it's only the first page, I guess. So yeah, this design has been animated as well. I will have to, I cannot really apply this to all of my pages. Maybe if I select them all and then click on magic animates, 
Let's see if all pages have been animated now. For that, I'm just simply gonna go to the last page, go full screen, and yes, it is animated. So all of my pages have been animated. So if I go to the first one, and now that I'm full screen, I can contemplate if all the pages have been animated. So yeah, this one, yes, moving. This is animated as well, animated. So yeah, I can see that every slide has been animated and it looks good. I mean, it saves me a bunch of time of animating every single page of creating the transitions for every single page. So Magic Animate will save you the hassle of going through all of these individual settings. So my conclusion for Magic Animate, I think this is a nice time saver, especially if you have a lot of slides in your presentation. If you have a complex video on your timeline and you need to put everything together, or if you're creating animated social media posts, Canva will help you choose the best animation for that project. All right, we have covered all of the new features, the new magic editing features for editing your photos, maybe except the magic eraser, because this one is not a new one. It allows you to brush over some part of your photos that you wish to erase and it will be erased. We've already covered that extensively on the channel, so I'm not gonna demonstrate it again. But yeah, it is now time to move on to the next category of magic feature. And there is one feature only in that category, and that is related to Canva's magic write. So the AI writing tool in Canva. Let's discover it. The feature is called Magic Write with Brand Voice. So what it does is that it allows you to explain to Canva what your brand's tone of voice is all about. So that when you use the AI-powered writing tools called Magic Write in Canva, it will write and generate text in your brand voice, which is really cool. It helps you stay on brand. And yeah, let me show you where to access that. So you will need to start from the Brand tab right here on the Canvas homepage. This is where you access all of your different brand kits. So we are going to explore Ronnie's brand kit right here. So I'm going to click on this one. And important note, this is a Canva Pro only feature because only Pro users have access to all of these brand kit customization. Like free users, they can only choose three colors in their brand kit and that's pretty much it. But Pro users have all of these additional features that they can use to build their brand within Canva or different brands actually, not just one brand. So if you scroll down in your brand kit, you will discover a new section called brand voice. Okay, so if it's not yet like unfolded, you can click on this little arrow, you should see something like this. It will prompt you to add your brand voice. So if you click here, you have 500 characters to actually describe to the best of your abilities, your tone of voice as a brand, as a business, as an entrepreneur, as a content creator, describe your tone of voice. Canva says, describe your brand's unique personality and how you communicate with your audience. Your voice is an important way to attract people to your brand, create connections and build trust with them. For example, to give you an example, our voice is confident, casual and friendly. I think you should go a little bit deeper than just giving three adjectives that describe your tone of voice. So I have created an entire paragraph here. I've used up almost all of the characters. And if you wonder how I got to this little paragraph explaining my tone of voice, well, I did explain that in another video, which I will link here for you guys. So I show you how I I use AI, in this instance, it was ChatGPT, to kind of describe my tone of voice. So I did that and I asked ChatGPT specifically to keep that description of my tone of voice under 500 characters. So it came out with this description. Our tone of voice is conversational and helpful, exuding expertise without coming off as condescending. Adopting a balanced approach, it's neither too formal nor too casual. With a friendly and approachable demeanor, we ensure the reader feels trust and reliability prioritizing clarity. We use simple language and provide informative guidance, making complex topics on branding and design accessible to a broad audience. This inviting tone motivates readers to embrace our knowledgeable content. Okay, just noticed a little mistake here, so I'm gonna delete it. But anyways, that's the description of my voice. You should have your tone of voice here. So once you're good with this, just save it. And obviously, a lot of you guys won't know exactly what is your tone of voice, so you need to kind of work on that. So watch the video that I showed you before. There will be a link in the description as well to really understand. If you have written content before, this video will help you figure out your style. All right, so 
this is done. I have set up my brand voice and now I can try the brand voice. Okay, so try your brand voice in a design. I'm gonna click here. Canva is gonna bring me to a Canva doc. All right, it's here. And I can generate some text in this brand voice. So I'm gonna click here and it's going to open a prompt. So a magic right prompt. Okay, it's here. So I am going to say, write a YouTube community post announcing the launch of our new course Canva for social media to our audience. Okay, write a YouTube community post announcing the launch of our new course, Canva for social media to our audience. I'm gonna generate that. And Canva should start generating a post talking as Ronnie, as Team Randy, as the tone of voice we just specified here in this explanation. So I'm gonna quickly read that to you. Hello everyone, we are excited to announce the launch of our new course, Canva for social media. In today's digital age, social media is an excellent platform for businesses to reach their target audience. However, it can be challenging to create visually appealing graphics that stand out amongst the noise, etc., etc. So I'm skipping some text here. So what are you waiting for? Enroll in our Canva for social media course today and take your social media game to the next level. We can't wait to see the amazing graphics you create. All right, so I think this was pretty on point and pretty on brand to be precise. So yeah, I think that adding your tone of voice will really help generate better copy for you with Canva's Magic Write. If I had more time, I would just compare this to the base version. So I would go back to my brand kit, delete my tone of voice, regenerate the same type of prompt, the exact same prompt and compare the two versions. I'm not gonna do that now because I am conscious of your time and I don't want to drag this video too much, but that's how I would really compare both versions. So again, this feature is called Magic Write with Brand Voice. You need to set it up in your brand kit and then you're good to go. You can use Canva's Magic Write and it will talk just like you. All right, guys, we are coming to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for bearing with us until this far in the video. There is one last bunch of features that Canva is throwing into this AI bag and these are all the AI powered apps that are making their way to Canva. So I'm not going to review them one by one. We have other videos for that on the channel, but I'm just going to show you where to find them. So if you click on the apps tab right here and you just simply search for AI and then hit enter to run your search, you should see a certain amount of apps right here. And this will change and vary depending on where you are because Canva is accepting new apps almost on a daily basis here. But all of these apps, if you search for AI, will be AI powered. So you have voice generation, you have avatar generation, image generation, etc, etc. So feel free to explore all of these apps as they come out in the Canva app marketplace. Or if you want me to be your guide. Well, the good news is that I started a new series where I review, explain, and kind of give my opinion on these new apps that are making their way to the marketplace. So make sure you find that series on the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Yes, so you don't miss any of these new releases, these new videos. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys for today. Phew! That was a massive What's Hot episode. Sorry about the length. It was, I think, time well spent. Well, you let me know in the comments section which one of these features is your favorite. Which one are you going to be using on a daily basis? Maybe you think it's time to upgrade to Pro after seeing all of that goodness only available to Pro plans. Well, let me know in the comments section. Let us know how we can help you further learning about Canva, discovering all of these new features. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of our What's Hot series right here. So this was episode 33, a special one for all of the Magic Studio features, but you will find the other episode in this playlist right here. Thank you for watching until the end. I will see you in the next video.